It flows from the ground in all directions. Nowhere in the world is it this clear, this clean, a source of pride for everyone in the Ozarks. This is the Ozarks we know today, but long ago, our water was nothing to be proud of. Water was this kind of slightly gray tinge and it stunk. And I thought, what's with this? From this problem was born the Watershed Committee of the Ozarks. The Watershed Committee keeps our waters clean by working with landowners, working with government, and well, just plain working. And while Ozark water is a sight to behold, they are still very fragile, leaving much work to do. Having grown up in a rural community about 50 miles north and west of here, some of my fondest memories are hunting waterfowl in the morning before I went to school and later water skiing on Lake Stockton and Lake Table Rock. Every time it rains, our water is threatened. Bacteria from pet waste, parking lot toxins, fertilizer, and contaminated septic tanks leak their toxins into our waterways and our drinking water supply. We need education. We need to make sure that people understand what they put on the ground goes into the water, one way or the other. Take a look at a map of the rivers and then take a look at the back of your hand. The lifeblood of you that flows through those veins and capillaries is the same lifeblood that as water flows all the places we live. We have to constantly work and constantly invest in clean water in order to keep it that way. So many things compete for our attention and we just can't afford to forget about water. This is the battle today for the Watershed Committee. It's a battle we can't win alone. Your investment will help keep Ozark's waters clean, clear, and full of life. Clean water is imperative for the success of any civilization. You've got to have that guaranteed clean water for people to th grow and th thrive here in this area as, as uh, we pass the torch on to, to future generations. <laughs> without water, none of us would be here. You can go without food for quite a while, you cannot go without water. There's not a living thing on this planet that can't do without water. To say clean water is, you know, our responsibility. You know, we need to pass it along to future generations. And, you know, once, once it's gone, it's gone. It's very hard to recover. The Watershed Committee of the Ozarks. Clean water for life.